Und damit ein herzliches Willkommen und Hallo zu einem weiteren Part Fake Grand Order. Ladies and Gentlemen, der größte aller Kämpfe erwartet uns nun. Wir werden nun das Unmögliche versuchen. Und zwar den mächtigsten Meister, den jemals die Menschheit gesehen hat. Den mächtigsten Magier, den es jemals gab, in einem Kampf herauffordern. Ladies and Gentlemen, es ist Zeit. Gegen niemand anderen als den Anführer in Krypta, der, der vom, äh, vom Foreign God erwählt worden ist, um die Menschheit in eine neue Ära zu führen, zu bekämpfen. Es ist endlich Zeit, uns Kirishima Wodime in den Weg zu stellen. Ein Kampf, der entscheiden wird, wer die Zukunft der Menschheit beschreiben wird. Ladies and Gentlemen, es ist Zeit, die Sache zu einem Ende zu bringen. Kampfschrei, liebe Leute! Maschi! Du bist mal wieder dabei. Daddy Lord, Crit, äh, Sir Critter Lord wird es schon schaffen. Und nun Fatal Battle. Kanis und ihr Master. Ja, genau. Gib ihr halt einfach noch mehr. Ja, genau. Why not? Also. Ladies and Gentlemen, was ist eigentlich beim letzten Mal so alles Schönes passiert? Wir haben, ja, ganz nett hier angefangen. Leider wurde es dann nicht mehr ganz so nett, um es mal so zu sagen. Äh, warte mal, jo. Oh, Leute, wir haben, oh, wir haben ja schon mal einen Gönnerzug gleich am Anfang. Wir haben ja so einen richtigen Gönnerzug. <lacht> so, ähm, ja, mach mal. So. Wäre es zwar noch geiler mit Arztkarten, aber hm, passt doch. Äh, also, wie gesagt, unser Ziel ist es, hier mit Woodheim zu bezwingen. Äh, Woodheim, der äh, hier vor Adler steht, vor dem äh, Tree of Emptiness. Und uns herausgefördert hat, im Kampf um die Zukunft zu bestimmen. Interessanterweise will er uns natürlich bekämpfen. Lange Zeit merken wir schon, dass sein oberstes Ziel ist, uns äh, hier zu, ja, eine würdige Herausforderung zu machen. Zu sorgen, dass eben wir auf dem Level sind wie er und das so das hat Meshi gar nicht gestört man oh klar sie hat so viele Attack-Ups das ist nicht gut das ist nicht gut Merlin einfach carryen gell du machst das was du am besten kannst so liebe Leute wir müssen diesen Kampf fast burnen ähm, wir haben halt wieder einen Mesh Support und auch wenn ich meine Mesh Tutor lieb habe, ist sie nicht unbedingt das Highlight, was ich haben will. Besonders, Leute, ihr seht diese Attack Ups, die sie hier einfach war hat. Es werden halt immer mehr, Mann. Es <lacht> werden halt immer mehr, Mann. Und das ist nicht gut. Ich habe keine Ahnung, Mann. Mit, mit diesen ganzen Attack Ups wird sie, sie uns jetzt einfach insta killen, oder? Möglich. Soll ich schon den Invincible machen? Ich meine, vielleicht greift sie auch Merlin an. Hm, warte mal. Mir ist scheißegal, Mann. Ich gehe auf Risiko. Wir müssen äh, irgendwie. Äh, also am besten Fall es schaffen. Bevor sie ihr MP raus hat. Äh, bevor sie. Ähm, ihr MP raus hat. Weil MP ist halt AOE und ich habe halt gerade mega Angst vor ihren äh, Crits. Und besonders, wenn sie sich halt noch mehr hochtankt, Mann. Das ist so übel, Mann. Das ist so mega übel. Uh, Daddy Lord! Crit sind tot, Mann! Increase Breakers. Ja! Du alter Cheater! Du alter Cheater, Mädel, Mann! Wie sie einfach hart cheatet, Mann! Ach Leute, Mann. Ja, genau, Mann. Break mal weg. Break mal weg. So, geht das. Oh, mein Lord. Oh, das Damage, Mann. Der ist so schön, Mann. MP2. Daddy Lord. Also, es ist so geil, wie er, wie er es wirklich schafft. So, jetzt machen wir nichts darunter unser Invincible. Ähm, diesmal ist Model Kamala sehr hilfreich. Und nächste Runde, glaube ich, haben wir schon wieder Lanze in der Boss. Also, es läuft sehr gut, Mann. Och, Leute, Mann. Der Schlimme, der Schlimme ist, der Schlimme Fall kommt dann noch, weil ihr seht, Wotheim steht ja im Endeffekt. Er will halt, er will halt einen richtigen Master Servant Battle. Er will uns halt zeigen, hey, mit gleichen als Aufforderung, wie wir bekämpfen. Hey, wie, 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 wie viel Schaden sie macht, trotz all unserer Buffs. Wie viel Schaden sie trotz all unser, äh, also den Defensive Buffs macht. Das ist echt happig. Aber nächste Runde haben wir gewonnen. Müssten wir. I hope it. 
So, der kann das Zero nicht tun. Das Einzige, was ist, sie hat einen äh, Damage Cut und wenn sie den einsetzt, das wäre natürlich eklig. Weil der Damage Cut äh, so hoch ist, dass wir null Damage machen gegen sie. Genese! Aber Leute, wie geil das mit Le Lanze läuft. Äh, klappt, Mann. Ich glaube, ich muss ihn lohnen, Mann. Ich glaube, ich muss ihn lohnen, Mann. <lacht> okay, Lady Leute. Next Round. Ich sehe Kritzdus. Ich sehe noch mehr Kritzdus. Ich sehe... Oh, ich sehe gute Karte, meine gute Freunde. So, jetzt critten wir es. Und dann nächste noch eine MP. Und dann... Weil Aber Leute, wir finden sie irgendwie nicht da, weil sie macht ja immer mehr Breakfast. Jetzt haben wir wieder Break von mir weggenommen, Mann. Und jetzt schauen wir mal. Das war's aber jetzt am Break Pass, oder? Warte, da ist Ach komm. Damn you, damn you, damn you, Merlin down. Damn you, ich hätte den Attack up nochmal sollen. Was ist das, Mann? Sure. Ignore sure hit. And just to this damage guy. Ja. Übel. Übel. Übel, übel, übel. Ja! Sehr gut. Schön. Aber das war. Äh, hätte Mörder Buster quick werden können. Bitte triff, bitte triff, bitte triff. Yo! Ja, Great Alon! Alter! <lacht> Ihr habt drei Attacken haben getroffen, so nice. So. Genau, greift Messi an. Wir machen das halt einfach so Angst, wie viel Damage äh, ab sie hat, man. So, nächster. Komm's, Jung zu Mädels, man. Mehr Spaß, der Crit, man. Ignore the Fans. Bringt es eigentlich. Komm, Mehr Spaß, der Crit! No! Mehr Spaß, der Crit hat carried, man! Oh mein Gott, dieses Chance based Invincibility, das ist so eklig, Mann. Aber Leute, man, oh, Lanze, Leute, ich feiere dich gerade so sehr, Mann. Wie er wirklich hier sie, also, so der will hier fertig gemacht hat. Ich meine, ich wollte es ja erst mit Nero machen, ich dachte mir, wir stallen das so. Aber Leute, Mann, ich finde, wir waren mega schnell. Und wir haben halt schon wieder unser P-Ready. Oh, okay. Super Mesh. Also im, im, Fight, im Fight mit Roma hat sie mich hart angekotzt, aber in dem Fall war es jetzt echt gerade Super Mesh. Ich wisch noch mit so fetten Bizeps und so. <lacht> das war gerade meine Superman. Also. Läuft doch an sich ganz gut. Okay. Und nun kommt noch ein Caster. Und nun kommt, kommt noch ein Caster. <lacht> Ach Leute, wir wissen, wer kommt. Wir wissen, wer kommt. Es ist auch so geil, wie viele unterschiedliche Musikstücke kommen. Das ist so super, man. Damn it, this guy just uh, won't let the hell up. What a pain in the ass. There is going on here. Come on, Kishida. What are you holding back for? Do you think already? Hm. What thing do you mean? What I showed you on the beach back there. Not that, Thomas. Those medias you love to throw around. I never get to see them in Atlantis and I want to kick back and enjoy the show from the winning side for once. Oh. You mean my media rain. Naturally, I'm not going to hold anything back, however. It would seem it's time. Excuse me, Maxi, but would you mind pausing for just a few seconds? Huh? Master, the tear of emptiness in our magic energy is spiking rapidly. Get back, it's not safe. The roots to the cosmic fantasy has fallen. Und die und der Baum erwacht. Something coming down from the sky. The foreign god. Could this be the foreign god, I man? For right now, I must admit, I'm more concerned with that sky. It's neither the night sky nor the outer space. It's not even the same cross-dimensional space where chaos resided. Even I can't make heads or tails of it. What is that? Did the tree of emptiness is inside just disappear? Now wait. I can see something inside. Is that a giant? 
It looks humanoid. Mm -hmm. Indeed, this is the body of our God. The glorious form of our glorious God is the very reason we disciples were summoned. Excellent work, Kirishida, excellent. I'm impressed to see a mere human accomplish this. Well done. I admit, I had my suspicion that your little tiff with Kalia may be violating our contract with the foreign god. But as they say, all is well that ends well, and indeed, with this humanity has fully and finally reached its end. Now, no one can stop the entrance of the god. The foreign god cannot take physical form on this planet. Thus, when the tree of emptiness grows to completion and its hollow is fully filled, with the foreign god will descend to the earth using the trees as their vessel. It's just like what you did with Grand uh, some Article Eva. It's over. Game, set, and match. It's not over yet. I stop you right now. <laughs> I don't think so, Maxi. You put up a good fight, but you're simply far too late and far too powerless. You know, since this is also an incredible thing, I think I'll go ahead and deal with you myself, so that Lord Kishia need no longer. However, there's one place for the foreign god here. No place for the foreign god here. Look closer, Limbo. See for yourself exactly what's inside the tree of emptiness. What is offered to you. Huh? What are you talking about? That form inside the tree of emptiness is clearly the body of... Of... What? What is the sickening divinity? How can there already be another god inside? Who is this low son Squatter? Who is the other god? What the hell do you think? You forgot all the times Kishida mentioned his name? The Street of Emptiness ain't, ain't Magellan, it's the Atlas. Then, then, you mean you summoned a divine spirit inside the tree? Atlas, who is this Atlas? That is the story of the Bear of Atlas. In Greek mythology, Atlas is the name of the Titan and literally carried the world off his shoulders. So I brought him ahead of time, Kyushida. Yes, I did. I actually summoned three servants in total. Canis, a divine spell from proper humanist. The Dios Curry from the Sloth Bay. And that was our failure. We have never. Ach, Leute, man! Vika! I find it so good, man. We dachten die ganze Zeit, die Dios Curry, klar, weil es zwei sind. sind zu, äh, zählen das zwei Servants, aber natürlich ist es nur ein Servant. And Atlas, the giant who served as the foundation of Greek word in proper human history. After coming to a mutual understanding, he agreed to aid me in my plan. A plan to build a new age of gods on this world, rather than hand it over to the foreign god. How dare you! This is clearly a breach of contract. Not at all. I forbid every instruction the foreign god gave me. Our agreement was that I grow my tree of emptiness to completion. We never agreed on what is going to fill it. Despite its name, it didn't feel right having it sit there so empty. So it, uh, I took the liberty of preparing a resident for it ahead of time. This is the hollows are glowing red. You mean... This communication has been cut off. This is a disaster. The phone god will never be able to descend like this. What is the meaning of this Kirishida Wutam? How dare you to disobey the foreign god? Obedience was not what I offered the foreign god to begin with. We merely made a deal as equals. I've never stopped believing in the future. The possibilities of humanity. <laughs> My own body was no longer fit with proper human history thanks to the foreign god resurrecting me. But I never attempted to overthrow humanity for the foreign god's sake. I moved away from proper human history so Kai could expel them. Suffice to say, Limbo, I've always despised you and the way you take twisted pleasures in destruction. How dare you to speak to me like that, you wretched traitor! Bye bye, Limbo. Not so fast, you did. You wanna get to Kyushida? You're gonna have to go from me first. <sighs> Impudent false divine spirit. This is a new law. In for a barbaric servant like yourself. You think? I only gave you a second thought, Limbo. You wasted so much energy mucking everyone in. You uh, could that I knew you were gonna end up the biggest loss sucking of all. Sorry. 
So, does this mean the foreign god isn't going to come here then? Correct. There's already another god occupying in the place they could manifest. So the foreign god will never appear here as long as Atlas is around. Then, does this mean Kirishida did all this to protect the earth from the foreign god? If only it were that simple. But it isn't, isn't it Kirishida? At long last I'm finally beginning to see exactly what it's supposed to a great threat to. Right. You are a sage of Chaldea. Your insight and observation skills are remarkable. All the more so considering that Zeus interfered with your mind. I have no desire for the foreign god to rule off, but I also refuse to submit to proper human history. Hmm. But you just said you were going against the foreign god. Did I think you've done was help humanity future? Not humanity futures. Humans. I have to wish to protect proper human history. No wish. Uh, nor do I think that human history thus far is taking the optimal path. In that regard, it makes no difference whether I or the foreign god use the tree of emptiness smash. I simply can't bring myself to choose a future for proper human history. You of Chaldea are the only ones who can do that. Die Musik aus dem Titelbildschirm. Is this the calm before the great flood? The kind that once drowned the world of proper human history? No, that can't be right. This will still no doubt destroy the world, but it's so very warm. Just tell us what is he after already, Kishida. The rebirth of humanity, of course. The bell of revolution has been rung. Atlas will use the magic energy stored in the tree of emptiness to create new laws, new textures and spread them across the world. As for myself, I will make my declaration. Human wisdom has met its defeat. Human power alone is simply incapable of progressing beyond this point. Humans are fundamentally incapable of making the right choice. I, of course, am no exception. No matter how many times we deliberate fight, and so on, and so forth, our history will never become what it should. Why, it should be obvious. Humans are hopelessly limited by our lifespans. We are weak, exceedingly so. Not as individuals, but as a species. Only those within certain privileged environments are capable of love, acceptance and respect. As a thought, human intelligence is built on taking from others non-selfishness. There is no utopia to be found on the path. World such as that will always produce innocent victims. The hell that would was proper human history proves us much beyond a shadow of a doubt. But that doesn't mean we can give up. For something this is important. There's no room for compromise or backpedaling. What I'm after is simple. If a utopia is beyond current human reach, then I'm a revolutionary what it means to be human. If the human species is weak, then I make it stronger. That's right, every human on this planet is about to be born. They will leave their weak human forms in favor of superior bodies, hate and senses and marvelous potential. I will have them become something greater than human, a new life form that even surpasses the machine gods. Naturally, that goes for all of you as well. This is my plan. A new age of gods. Once everyone is like unto a god themselves, there will be no more inequality. Every last person will have the power and the responsibility to influence the world. And one day, should all these new gods be willing, they will give birth to a new intelligence who can give and will lead history to a much better place. That is my conclusion, my oper own Operation God Destroyer. As of today, humanity will bring down the very concept of gods. The dusted young man realized what he's saying. Why is the ship only picking up all you? Get Kishi up on the screen already, damn it! Em. In pain, believe this got unfeigned delusion that not so sweet, someone said, is spouting. How dare he try to make our fallen humanity into gods. We can't let him get away with such a ghastly. Wait, did he say gods? No monsters? No spare parts for something nightmare ritual? No, no. That can't possibly be right. There's simply no way he could do that. That's the horror trouble with kids these days. 
They think they can attract all the votes they need, thus be dangling an impossible manifest in front of. I don't think it's exrogating, Director. It looks like you're telling the unverish truth. All the Stormwater's instruments supported that Kirishina saying. Right now, the Tree of Emptiness Atlas is spreading their true fifth element, true ether, across the world. In fact, even as we speak, it's refining your soul spiritual format in great in other words. And not just there uh, for you, it's doing the same for Maximash and all the border stuff too. If this keeps up, even as you retain your humanity, you guys really return into beings that eventually have the same capability as heroic spirits. Or to measure you on humanity scale, you end up being on the same level as gods. Ah, oh, come now, surely you're just... Master, your magic energy circuits are improving, in both mass and quality. No wait, it's just uh, not just you, it's happening to me, Macarius and Adele too. Unfortunately, Mr. Woodtime, that plan is pure fantasy. You think making everyone to superior godlike beings will usher an, in a new world. Even if you succeed at giving people everything they need, whether it be a sense of fulfillment, long and healthy lives, or physical abilities to eliminate the necessity for competition, so long as people retain their intelligence, there will always be conflict. The only difference will be in the scale of destruction. What are you trying to do here is... I understand that. As long as individuals exist, fighting will remain the only cycle of growth. But that will come to an end one day. With a large perspective, broader wisdom and a longer lifespan in which to learn to grow. Humanity will be sure to reach the next cycle. That's right, you will be able to break the chains of humanity thus far could not. From here on, humans will no longer need to make gods uh, to save them. Everyone will be God capable of saving everyone else. But something about this still seems... That being said, some things will certainly be lost in our service of the greater good. This revolution will be limited to humanity on earth as it exists right now. I don't have the power to bring that the people from proper human history. Once Atlas takes to cover Earth, proper human history will be gone forever. Well and truly lost. After all, it will no longer have any place to return to, just like the foreign god cannot occupy the tree of emptiness with Atlas keeping them away. What? But then... Then your plan is to essentially the same as the foreign gods. It's not any different from having a wiped guard clean. What do you think, Maxi? Don't you agree that my plan has a merit? Puh! Ladies and Gentlemen, alle Law Spells, die wir bis jetzt hatten, waren schlecht. Kein Law Spell ist irgendwie annähernd nur in die Qualität der normalen Erde gekommen. Der erste Law Spell war eine Hölle, in der Menschen je, äh, jeden Tag ums Überleben gekämpft haben. Das zweite war ein, ein Dead End. Es gab keinen Fortbestand, kein Leben, kein eigenes Ding. Im dritten Law Spell hatten die Menschen kein, kein eigenes Wesen. Sie haben einfach an das geglaubt, was ihm gesagt worden ist. Im vierten Law Spell war es ähnlich und jeder Tag konnte der letzte sein. Und der fünfte Lost Belt war eine Utopie. Eine Utopie, aber die von einem Gott bestimmt wurde. All das, was wir in diesen Lost Belts gesehen haben, war im Endeffekt, dass die Welt, Götter, die Umstände, die Menschen gezwungen haben, einen Weg zu gehen. Und Wutan will diese Fessel brechen. Er will halt daraus schaffen, dass die Menschen zwar immer noch sich irgendwo bekriegen, dass sie immer noch kämpfen, aber dass sie selber, dass sie nicht mehr auf einen Gott, auf einen Servant, auf irgendwas, auf eine Naturgewalt hoffen müssen, sondern dass sie selber aus eigener Kraft ihre Probleme lösen können. Leute, er hat nicht so ganz Unrecht, liebe Leute. Man kann nicht so richtig gegen ihn sein, Mann. Und das ist das Traurige an der Sache. Dass wir ihn trotzdem wahrscheinlich bekämpfen werden. Under different circumstances, I think it's incredible. Es ist ein Wunder. But, as things stands now, I can accept it. Do you think I'm a merely running away, that I seek to abandon the past and the present? You're not wrong. I have no good response to that. While I do believe that they're uh, capable of bringing that past and present back, I also can't deny that I'm passing all that work on to you. It seems the foreign god has taken measures to deal with me. I suppose it only makes sense that they would seek to end my life, since they can't touch the tree of emptiness. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid none of us have a choice. I'm going to use the Tree of Emptiness Atlas to revolutionize the world before the foreign government break our contract. 
What do you next is up to you, Maxi and Mash? You can choose this revolution and this spring future, a future of gods where everyone is happy. Or you can choose proper human history in all its ble bleakness, with a myriad problems and dead ends. But be warned, if you try to interfere, I will show you no mercy. This is my grand order. It is the ideal I fought for through my entire life. If you wish to stand in its way, then you must fight with all strength you possess. This planet's future rests upon the outcomes of the battle. If you think you can choose a greater future than I. If you believe you are strong enough for me to entrust you with the tree of emptiness, then prove it. I am Kirishida Woodtime. As a crypto, I denounce proper human history. I am an enemy of Kali and by extension, you. And I'm a leader of Team A, who fought to protect humanity. Und bis zu meinem bitteren Ende macht er es. Leute, ich liebe den Typen, Mann. Ich liebe ihn so sehr, Mann. Er ist so großartig. Aber wir dürfen nicht wanken. Für die Leute, die gestorben sind. Für die Leute, die immer noch leben wollen. Für diese kämpfen wir. Für unsere unperfekte Welt. Ladies and Gentlemen, beim nächsten Mal geht es dann endlich zum vielleicht größten Kampf, den wir jemals im Fake Run Order hatten. Zum Kampf gegen Kishima Wutan. Leute, beim nächsten Mal geht's richtig. Danke! Der ist richtig los, Mann! Wie soll ich das sagen? Haut rein und bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao!